So what would cause your designs and images to look quite different in terms of colors when it is out of print? Most people are saying that it is attributed to this fact of using RGB and CMYK. So in this video, we're going to try to explain what RGB and CMYK are, how it affects your design and how you can actually use them very effectively. Before we dive into the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you're ready, let's get into the video. First off, what is RGB? RGB is basically an acronym which stands for red, green, and blue. It is said to be a color model that outputs lighter colors when three primary colors are mixed. So this design that you see on the screen right now is in the RGB mode and from the basics of primary colors, we can actually conclude that all the other colors were formed from the primary colors. That is if I remember my colors correctly. With that said, it can actually be agreed upon that the RGB colors gives you the most vibrant colors and saturated colors and it is referred to as addictive colors because it absorbs light. So this particular design, for instance, you can see almost all the colors that I use very vibrant, very saturated. So unlike the RGB, the CMYK, which basically stands for cyan, magenta, yellow and key, which the key actually stands for black is said to be a reflective color so instead of absorbing the colors the cmyk basically reflects the color so instead of maintaining all the colors that we have like this one which you can see the shadows and everything from here the dark spot around the edges here the cmyk basically reflects it so it kind of subtracts the color which means that you're not going to get the full colors that you are using so the problem is designs are made in rgb which means the colors are punchy when you look at the design on your screen it actually looks quite okay because you're viewing it from the lcd and it's very illuminated you can see the punchy colors and saturation but when you send your designs to the printing house they actually convert it to cmyk before they print it and that is the reason why sometimes most of the times the design loses its quality in terms of color so now the question is should you design in rgb or you should design in cmyk it basically depends on you but it is quite reasonable to design in rgb as we've established that rgb is made for screens so when you are designing or retouching your images on screen on your laptop it actually makes a lot of sense to design it in rgb however when you're done designing you can actually convert it to cmyk to see how it is going to come out from the printing press and this is actually going to help you not to pick up a fight with a printing guy so you can easily do that using the shortcut ctrl plus y or basically you go to image mode and then cmyk color here and you can see that this is how your design would actually come out from the printing press and also when you're designing for digital purpose for instance you are posting on instagram you'll be uploading it to your website or you'll be sending it to be used on your whatsapp status you can actually design in rgb and maintain it in rgb or you kind of export or save it in rgb so basically we can say that rgb is for digital work whereas cmyk is for print either way this concept can actually be changed when you are working with images because this particular image is in rgb and you can't afford to print this particular image and then you have it in cmyk like this it really doesn't make sense so for images for instance you can actually print in rgb some printers actually support the rgb color model a typical example is an inkjet printer epson printer it supports the rgb color model so you can actually print in rgb just so you don't lose the natural colors in the image however you might want to take the kind of paper that you are printing when you are using the rgb into consideration for instance a normal a4 sheet doesn't have the reflective as compared to a glossy photo paper so if you are printing your images on a glossy photo paper it stands a chance of absorbing the colors which turns out to make the picture 
very bright but then if you print your images on the normal a4 paper you are at the end of the day going to receive that boring kind of dull printout that is why most photo labs actually uses glossy photo papers for printing images and the normal printing presses uses a4 sheet for printouts so the quick take home from this video is understand that rgb is for digital prints online works instagram whatsapp and so on and so forth whereas cmyk is for digital prints note the difference and i promise you you not pick up a fight with any printing press guy again that'll be all for this particular video let me know in the comment section if this was helpful and share your ideas and thoughts in the comment section as it goes away to help a lot of us to learn thank you so much for sticking around to watch i'll see you guys in the next one it's innocent here and bye